many years uh, being a part of the church and the body of Christ, I tell you, there are many times when I feel empty inside me and I hunger and thirst for, for something more than what the world can offer. And uh, it is only God, it is only uh, Jesus Christ that can really quench that thirst. And I enjoy singing that song where it says gold and silver, those things don't really satisfy because as I see the world today, people long for something else. There's such a big vacuum in their heart and, and they're looking for answers somewhere else. But really the only solution, the only thirst quencher is the Spirit of God. You know, and in the Spirit of God, we have the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And there's, there's so much value in that. Uh, you know, that was written in the book of Psalms. And you can almost feel David or whoever wrote that Psalms, uh, you know, probably being in the desert and he has all this stress, you know, all this persecution. And uh, probably he was hungry and thirsty and then he realizes, you know, it's only God. It's only my relationship with God that will really quench my hunger. Um, it's a good lesson for, for all of us because, you know, come to admit it, there are times we look for somewhere else, some things, uh, but those things will, will never satisfy. It is God. So, how blessed we are. I mean, that's why, you know, we were praying and Mr. Rea says, amazing God. You know, God is truly amazing. It fills us and makes us complete. There's no human being, no property, no nothing can make us full and complete. Only God can do that. I mean, if we only learn that one aspect, you know, and then live that thing, we'll be happy. We'll be contented and happy because God is everything that we need. I mean, you agree? Amen? Amen. Yeah. That's, that's, that's who we need. It's God. What we need is not a what, but it's, it's a who. God. Um, anyway, we had a good uh, prayer meeting uh, last night, and uh, uh, we had like around 14 people, and it was much better because somebody cooked us uh, pumpkin bread. <laughs> you know, Steve Morrison here. Uh, he prepared pumpkin bread, and and everyone was saying, this is the best pumpkin <laughs> bread we've ever tasted. It's just huge and good to bite and kind of moist and proper ingredients. Yeah, putting it on the spot here. It's good. And we have some leftovers there. My wife came home from work and uh, I was looking for it in the morning. And it's gone. There, there's some downstairs right now. Oh, all right. Good. <laughs> So she was telling me, said, wow, that was good, you know, this morning. Anyway, so thank you, uh, Steve. Um, our prayers are every third Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a tradition now. Like yeah. Tradition. Tradition. Uh -huh. Pumpkin bread, uh, especially fall season. What comes Christmas time? I mean, what, what bread do you have? Uh, Ginger bread. Oh, Ginger bread. Yeah. Google, right. check it out. <laughs> You might have a talent, you know, you don't know. You might be a, you know, a potential, the best baker, you know. Who knows? Ka-ching! ka -ching, you know. Uh, but, you know, we have some celebrations, and uh, Vian is not here, but it's her birthday, uh, Ronkyo, and of course, Randy Stokes. Over there. Randy, happy birthday. Randy. And of course, you see the announcement here next Saturday, Saturday next week, October the 26th. They are going to have a housewarming, is that a good? Housewarming party at their place. And everybody is invited, you know. Everybody is in, invited to be there. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's starting, in, it's there anyway. And Otto is going to put that on Facebook. So. Uh, so it's going to be fun and, you know, you know be there myself, uh, so enjoy. So you're all invited, you know, be there uh, next, uh, next Saturday. Uh, that should be fun and uh, hoping that there will also be, uh, uh, hoping there will be a, a jacuzzi, right? A warm wow. jacuzzi wow. and a warm. Warm, you know, it doesn't mean it will electrocute you, you know, it's, not, it's warm. You know. 
A warm jacuzzi, and I, I, I think Ken and Otto just installed that yesterday, so it really just, you know, freshly refurbished. <laughs> so it's going to be, it's going to be very, very good. So we look forward to, to that. So anyone else that we miss, somebody's birthday or anniversary, um, probably not, okay, so that's, that's well and good. Um, who? Judy Yavi. Yeah, we announced that probably last week, yeah. We put that, yes. We, we announced that. Yeah, hmm? yeah it's, it's that. So, anyways, uh, anyways, today uh, uh, the focus, as, you meant, as I mentioned last week, the, there's the focus on uh, making disciples. So we will continue with that uh, series, with that theme uh, today. Because when we look at the scriptures, that is obviously purpose of God has, has given us, it's not just to make converts, we, you know, really the Spirit of God is the one that changes hearts, right, but we do our part, but it's more than just uh, converts, but it's disciples, that's what uh, the focus is about, so we, we do that. Um, please continue your prayers, uh, we had, uh, like for our Tuesday Good News Club, we have 20, you know, we started with five kids. There are five kids and then there's 20 now. It's a little bit more challenging when you have 20 people. So, you know, we appreciate your prayers. How many do we have on Tuesday, on Wednesdays? On 15 to 18. So, you know, we've grown to around 20, around 20 people, uh, plus 20, maybe around close to 40, 40 kids, which is good. You know, when you just pray, I mean, it's amazing what God can do. And I think we have probably some more who are interested. So, please pray that God's going to prepare us, the teachers, but also that the children will have a heart of and a desire to learn more about God, even though they're kids. Uh, we have some guests here. I see them all the way from the south. The south. Australia. <laughs> Down under. Okay, Mila and Ya Yang. Uh, pleased to meet you. And uh, Anna, also from the south. <laughs> Southern Cal. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, good to see you. That's great. Okay, so uh, we again uh, go to God for, for blessing. Uh, that's the reason why we are here. First and foremost, we come here uh, because we want to be where God is. In this case, you know, here to worship the Lord. And so we humbly bow down uh, to go to Him and, and pray. So let's bow our heads. Lord God Almighty, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for bringing us all here, Lord, together, coming from different places. But wherever we are from, whoever we are, Lord, we are one, we are united in Christ. And that is our identity, Lord God. We are in Christ, so we are brothers and sisters. And what a joy that is, Lord, that we are a family. Thank you, Lord, for today. We pray, Lord God in heaven, that you open to us your scriptures and through your Holy Spirit that our hearts will be yielded, Lord, and that you will be given the enlightenment to receive what you have prepared for all of us today. Each of us, Lord, have different, unique, unique situations, but your Spirit can speak to us uniquely, Lord, personally, and apply the things for us all, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are a part of the body of Jesus Christ. Oh, what an amazing thing that is. And to have Jesus Christ as our head. Someone that we can really worship. Someone that we can follow. Someone that we can trust. Because there is no other place. There is no other person that we can trust. And it's you alone, Jesus Christ, our Lord, to follow in your steps. Lord, we thank you and I thank you for this congregation. Lord, I pray your blessings on each and every one, that you, Lord, provide each and everyone's needs. You know what these are, and so I pray this, Lord, all of us pray this, united in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your love. <coughs> Thank you for everything that you give. We give you honor, we give you praise, we give you all the glory, and in Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Amen.